and welcome back to my channel. I feel like I haven't sat down in this setup for such a long time and it feels kind of weird. And I also wanted to welcome a lot of my new subscribers. I know a lot of you came from Nate's channel, so thank you so much for checking me out. I'm Nadine and this is my channel. Today's video is like a favorites video, but instead of favorites, I'm calling them my edits because I learned it in class that another meaning that edit has is like your picks or your favorites. So if a photographer is to pick out and choose like his favorite photos from a set that he took, um, he would call them his edits. So yeah, let's just get started. The first thing that I wanted to talk about is my favorite lessons of the month. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like when God wants me to learn something from life, he would continually repeat the same message over and over again. For example, my professors in all of my classes will magically just talk about the same topic and then I would know that, hey, I think this is something that I should remember because it's been manifested in my life multiple times. For the month of Feb, I kept seeing this verse over and over again, like all over my Twitter, on Instagram, and then also on YouTube. So it's the verse. So I'm gonna just read it from my phone, but it says, My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. That was the verse that God wanted me to keep in my heart because of like the struggles that you have you know in life and to remember to always like choose joy and i'm gonna link down below a cool like like bible study um from john jorgensen or john something the next lesson i learned is from my viscom class and my professor he's a photographer and he's just inspired me to just really take everything in all of its detail and look closer closely or more close or look closely into things and just appreciate what's in front of you and also do not be afraid to see things in a different light. So I've been walking around campus and before I would really hesitate to take photos of my school because I didn't want to look like some sort of tourist in my own university. But lately I've just been stopping and just not caring, just taking little photos around campus because Ateneo is truly beautiful. and. I want to remember all of these things, so yeah, beautiful. For creation, you guys know that I've been collaborating with a lot of different people for the past month, and of course, my favorite has been the one with Jill Chan. I know, like, I'm such a fangirl to my own friend. It's just that I was looking through her Tumblr when I did my I'm So Happy video, and I really just saw how much she's grown as a photographer, so I'm giving her some love, like, I love her so much. Yeah, and then for consumption, I've been listening to a lot of different things. Like I've gone through like around three phases in February. Like January, I wasn't so into music, but then Feb, I was music. The first one is OPM. Like I've been so into Sud, love Sud, and then I also really like. There is a playlist on Spotify. It's called Manila Sound. And it's just like music from the 80s or the 70s and I really liked Manila by Hot Dog and I remember that my um, history professor actually he had a session in history just talking about Manila sound or Manila music and I just remember that song and it's so good so it makes me so happy the next type of music that I've been listening to is Jesus music and I've been doing this thing where I would listen to some Jesus music and then fall asleep and then after like an hour usually an hour I would wake up and like remove my headphones and throw my phone on the floor my favorite ones because like I don't know like when I wake up to a song I, I just feel so I just love the song so much I woke up to What a Beautiful Name by Hillsong Worship the live version and then I also really like Gongor, Beautiful Things and Crags and Clay, so good. I also really like Citizens and Saints, You Brought Me Back to Life, Madness and Father You Are All We Need. Jesus music. Next for watching, I watched the movie Sing Street and dude, I really liked it so much. I just love 70s and 80s like the fashion the style the music oh, it's so good i mean it's so i love it so much like i cannot i'm really bad at describing stories so i'm gonna just tell you like the main gist so there's a guy and he starts he forms a band because he wanted to impress a girl and then but then it's just it's not just 
that story you know it's not just a romance story it's more of like the guy the main character he started finding himself like he started finding his sound he started finding like what he liked about music it's a coming of age story and then he also seeks the guidance of his older brother. Yeah, okay, so I'm really bad at explaining stories, but you should check it out. And all the music, they're so good, guys. They made me so happy. And, um... Sobra nakatawa. Like, you get to see the process of them writing the songs, the process of them, like, finding inspiration, seeking inspiration from different types of bands, and, like, how it influences their own music until he finds, like, their own style. So yeah, check it out. Now, let's move on to tangible things. For wearing, I've been really liking Pen Shop. Surprisingly, like, they have been stepping up their game. If you've seen my nighttime routine, I really like the shirt that I'm wearing there. It's just plain black with the word hot sauce on it. And I got that for like 199 pesos from Pen Shop. So it's yeah. And I just like how simple it is and much wearing Korean style. I also really like this denim jacket that I got from Pen Shop. It has two different tones of denim. And I only got that for like less than 700 pesos, so like 600 something. So it was on sale and it was such a good deal. So definitely check out Pen Shop. I've also been overusing my all black superstars. I never really, I, I always liked my other pair more. It's the mesh kind. But for some reason, I've been loving just the all black look. For beauty favorites, I've been loving the Albatross Powder Sun from Charm Zone. And yeah, I got sent this, but dude, it's so good. Like, it makes my skin feel so smooth after using it. And lately, since I've been kind of breaking out, annoying, no? Um, yeah, I've been using the Mario Badescu and it's really like helping drying out my pimples. Like, dude, I didn't get skin sometimes, but yeah, I would go to school just wearing this because I'm so lazy. These are my product recs. A few people asked me where you can get Mario Badescu and I got this from Rustan's um, Shangri-La, but you can also get it online in rustans.com, I don't know, as well as Sephora, BH. For eating, I'm kind of cheating because I just ate this like two days ago, so Medro March 1. But I tried out the Salmon Poke Bowl from Sushi Nori and it's so good. Like, sobra na kulangan ako. I wanted more, but I guess everything in moderation. But it's so good if you've never tried it. It's like delicious. And I went to the yard for the first time. I know it's so near my school, but. Yeah, I went there with my friend Bianca and we tried out this epic milkshake. I forgot the name of the milkshake store but we tried out the s'mores milkshake and the base of it is chocolate. But guys, hindi siya sickeningly sweet na chocolate na fake. It's like the deep chocolate cocoa taste and yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about but it's so good! I'm not a milkshake person because it's so like fattening sha, but then moderation and I shared it with my friend. So I feel like if you drink it alone, medyo nakasawa siya and like nakabusog talaga. But then share it with a friend and kebs. I don't even know what kebs mean, but I've been using it in my head. That wraps up everything that I've been obsessing over the month of February. I hope that you picked something up from this video and that you would check some of the things out that I mentioned. Um, yeah, thank you again for watching. And if you liked the video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to me. If you have any reactions, questions, video requests, as well as if you want to tell me your own favorites, like your favorite lesson for the month of February, then definitely let me know so that I can learn from you then. Yeah, so I will see you in my next video.